Right, we're back on the uh, extension build. We're going to set it out today. So we're going to get it all set out and we'll have a look at this. I've been sent a new laser level to have a look at, uh, do a little review on. So we'll review it while we're doing this, which is going to be pretty cool because uh, we do need it. So I'll show you it in a minute. This is all concrete and we did the other day a lot and you can see we we just had a drop on back but I wasn't going to drag it from there to there just for that little drop. See what puddle is? It's a little bit out down there. We need to sort out. In fact, I think it's a lot out, not just a little bit. But that's what we're going to find out once we get these lasers on. I've just pinned this line uh, just for now. The urn onto there. I've got me big square today. So, just squared that up, looks about right. <clears throat> I think we're going to go for like a block, foundation block, and then um, three quarts of brick on outside, quarts of block on in, I think. Um, yeah, what a delivery, it's all here. Right, this is what's come CMS04 or 04, Sigmund. Uh, I had one of these before, and uh, a couple of years back, a little one. This is a, a bigger one. It's a nice box, anyway. <laughs> Quite an hard box, which I quite like. The um, thing I'm looking forward to in this one, oh, we've got a detector as well, I'll show you that in a minute, is I've got the, is it is it Hoopa? Uh, I think it's the Hoopa one, and it's the, the, it's a great laser, but the stand is really weak, and I'm not too keen on stand, but it is a good laser, though. So I'm hoping this one, the main thing is uh, if the stand, that there, it looks quite good. So this is a laser. This looks pretty decent. Feels a little light, but I know the other one were really heavy. But feels pretty good. Um, we got two batteries, which is great. Oh, charging points there as well. It's pretty cool. So two of them. And then you get all the other bits in it. The um, that's so you can see a bit further, we use that plate, target plate, a little plate for screwing on to hold it. Um, these are pretty cool as well, they seem to all come with these as well now, it's like a jack. You can sit it on and all that jack plate. That's quite, it's got a bit of rubber on that as well to hold it in place. Little thing, oh remote, it's got a remote control with it. What else we got? Charger. Now this here. Look. Can't get it out of the box. Well, at least it's tight. This, yeah, it, it feels really good quality. That really stiff and rigid. See the other one that I had, what it, it bent a lot. It didn't feel this good. So we'll try it. I'll put a battery in it. Big bottom, molten the charge. Cause I've, uh, this is, I've only just opened it today, so. Like that, it's got some dots, three dots down there. Guessing it goes that way. No, it doesn't, it goes the other way. Oh, yeah, three. Right, it's on. See, display, got a display on it. It tells you whether it's out at a minute because I've got it on angle, it's flashing, look, so it knows it's not level. And then when it stops flashing, you know it's level. Right, and also, they also give me this. Because uh, I messaged them and I said I can't really use it on this job without the detector. That's a detector. What do you get in here? Battery. It's a 9 volt battery. There we go. So that beeps, it's got arrows. It'll tell you, it'll flash arrow saying up, down when we get it level. You'll see it in a bit. Also get a... bits that goes on here so you uh, screws on here like this and then we can fasten that to a staff or in our case it's going to be our spirit level so we'll set it up over here and clamp it on and then all I've got to do is go to the other end and we'll see how far that is so if I hold it here And we are... Oh, 10 mil. So we've got a gap of 10 mil at the bottom, so we're 10 mil out, so we just need to raise that 10 mil. 
see how, see how far we are on this side. That's five mil, so that is very good. And what are we here? This is where it dips in this corner. So we know we're at a mile here. A good four inch out of level at that end. But from there, from there to there to there, we're good. Then it just drops here, which I'm going to have to level out. But we knew that. So if you're new to watching this video, so that storeroom is the garage. And then this bit here where it jilts in is this here. And then that's the bit that jilts in. Look, so that's the original house. So this is the house. And then this is what we're building. This big thing here, two stories high in block work but we're going to put some engineering brick um, just below DPC so we're just setting this out level with out that's what I string my line for there and then we'll whip round with one course of foundation for now and try and get it somewhat level so on here look we've got 300 300 so 100 mil cavity so 100 brick well it'll be block 100 block cavity 100 block and then what we're going to do is, it's got insulation in here, and then it's having insulation on the back walls to make up for it, because new regs now make you have a bigger cavity, but you can get round that if you put insulation on your plasterboard on inside. That's how you get round to still having a 300 instead of wider. Right, Josh, you want to bring the batter down here a little bit? <clears throat> Yeah, we'll do for now, because we'll just set out for now. Yeah. foundation of 300 wide so if we're doing this way it sets us front and us back up in one go so right that is good there we go we're level oh my bank is killing today And then we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work it out the length of it later. Hand in hand, yep. Oh Right, so another uh, day. We've um, we've had a lot of rain, uh, but that's what we've got done so far. Look, I can't record it. Well, just hell, really. I <laughs> had gazebo. Up. Oh, done that corner down there as well. Jesus, man, from eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Just rain all day. Rain, rain from eleven. Yeah. Oh God. Hey, don't stop while one o'clock. Bad rain as well. Uh, uh, don't stop while one o'clock in the morning. Do you know what we're going to have to do then? When we move about, we're going to have to uh, get some biscuit yeah. sliced up into stuff so we can uh, carry on.
That's it, just got them in, but um, rain, rain's coming down a bit now, so hopefully we'll get to carry on. All right, it's another day. We've uh, just got this little bit to put in, and uh, we're just filling these up here for uh, damp to go on because the inspector is. Uh, Inspector's coming today, so fill these up, then we'll get the um, damp rolled on and clean that out that I've just put in. We've cleaned all this out, look lovely, and now I'm filling it back up. Oh god, it's rock. <coughs> Kingspan and that's come, we've got some cement and stuff coming, we've got 16 packs of blocks as well, which we reckon is going to get us like, I don't know, um, first scaffold lift, probably. Right, we've put that on and then when we concrete, we put this screen on, under that, and then that laps over, that's good. This one here, some extra wide damp, see how that's higher, the concrete floor is higher than see how high that is and then to his damp proof so what we're going to do is we're going to use this wide one tuck it down back so that'll be getting filled in and then we'll put another block on that and then put some visqueen down so we'll be that high with visqueen down back so it'll have two layers a damp layer going down and a thingy layer then hopefully that'll uh, hopefully that'll pass like that and then that that tucks down there look and then we'll put another layer of at top, either with that damp again or uh, this screen. So that is the laser, quite a good bit of kit. Um, put a link down in the description if you uh, want to go have a look at it. Um, I did try it out at home and it works pretty damn good inside too. So yeah, nice bit of kit, especially with that detector. That makes it uh, really usable, like inside and outside. Brilliant. Well, we missed a bit of videoing. It's uh, a bit rough. Uh, turned up this morning. It's bad already, look. Snowing. But that's what we've got done so far, look. I've just, just couldn't film it because it's been rain, 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 rain. And then, well, we've got three of these gazebos. Uh, so we've had them up. Uh, so I couldn't really film and now it's snowing. So that is fantastic. So... I think we'll leave this video here for now. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. So if you want to see, uh, see us work in this crap, uh, subscribe, give us a comment, thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.